Well, Renee Zellweger is already being tipped to win an Oscar for her portrayal of screen legend Julie Garland. The new biopic, Judy, explores the star's tragic final months in London in the late 60s. Now, Weekend Sunrise movie man Jason Jabba Davis joins us now. Morning, Jabs. Now, we also hear Renee singing. She's got a good voice, isn't she? I remember her from Chicago. Good morning, Mon. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, everybody. Uh, as distinct from the musical films that were being talked about this time last year, namely Bohemian Rhapsody, yes, Renee is actually doing her own singing after a year of vocal coaching to portray Judy Garland, and she does an incredibly impressive job. Now, A Star is Born and Bohemian Rhapsody were the two big musical films this time last year. This week sees the biopic about the female lead of the 1954 version of A Star is Born, Judy Garland, uh, with a performance performance that's set to emulate Rami Malek's award-winning performance as Freddie Mercury in Bohemian Rhapsody. Um now, all of us know uh, the incredible Judy Garland as a child actor from playing Dorothy as a wit of, as in The Wizard of Oz. A lot of us um, are also aware that she struggled with addiction throughout all her life after being given all manner of different um, pharmaceuticals by the studio bosses to keep her slim, to keep her awake. And it's these addictions that really um, come to the fore as she heads to London at the late 60s for a five-week tour at the Talk of the Town Cabaret Club. Um, with her is Rosalind Wilde. Wilder, who's like a personal assistant played by the fantastic Jessie Buckley who we saw in Wild Rose a few months ago and she's tasked with getting Judy on stage to sing every night. What's the matter? Hey, I can't. What? Tonight, no, 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 what, what do you mean you can't? There's an audience out there waiting to hear you sing. My mouth dry and it could fall apart. Listen to me. Judy, I can't. You'll be fine. Now, why don't you go... Yeah, it's a, look, it's a performance that has to be seen to be believed. Uh, for me, her singing is incredible and half of the film she's incredible, but one of the great reviews I read said that she performs all in caps, uh, which if you use the internet a lot, is like shouting. So her performance at times is a little bit off-putting because she seems to be doing a blue steel or, or a bit of a Zoolander performance, but I've got no doubt that Renee Zellweger is going to win her second Oscar, her first one for Best Lead Actress. No uh, the Wizard of Oscar, I'm calling this, because <laughs> A Star is Reborn has already been taken so, um, so three and a half So why do you think if, she was, if, if you were a bit distracted by her, you know, what, what, how she was giving her performance, <laughs> why do you think she'll get the Oscar? It's a phenomenal portrayal of right. Judy Garland. The singing is phenomenal. I think just overall the, the story is kind of a little bit TV drama, but... Mm. Uh, I, I still think it's a must-see, even for three and a half stars. And it's interesting with Joaquin Phoenix. He's probably a shoe in for his, uh, for an Oscar for his portrayal of Joker. And the last time that we had back-to-back -back musical biopics was also off the back of Joaquin Phoenix uh, when he played Johnny Cash yeah. kind of 10, 15 years ago. Can't wait to see movie. both of those movies. Uh, Jabba, you've also looked at uh, a new documentary about the death of Australian pianist uh, Geoffrey Tozer. So, guys, more tormented musicians this week, and this film is a documentary from an Australian writer-director, Janine Hosking, and this investigates a eulogy that Paul Keating delivered um, uh, to celebrate the life of the pianist, who really was uh, a, a troubled figure. His mum got him onto the piano as a kid, and then he was so good that he would sometimes improvise during live concerts and leave the orchestra dumbstruck. This contributed to him kind of being unhirable, as well as his own battles with addiction as well. Let's take a quick look at the eulogy. Geoffrey Tozer's death is a national tragedy. It's a massive cultural loss, the kind of loss people felt when Germany lost Dresden. If anyone needs a case example of the bitchiness and preference within the Australian arts, here you have it. So for all our viewers that head along to the Sydney Opera House to watch uh, classical music on a Saturday night or anyone that appreciates the arts uh, and believes maybe it should get more funding and more care, it is an engaging and poignant doco. Three and a half stars for the eulogy, which is playing nationally as well this week. Fantastic. Can't wait to see it. Thank you very much, Shabba. Thank Thanks, you, guys.